idea how the devil's marbles were formed. What is this? Spectacular, are in fact the result of a breaking down rather than a building up of rocks. The marbles are remnants from a solid mass of granite, the bulk of which still lies underneath them. Kalu, Kalu. Fuck. A sacred meeting place. That's what it's called. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? I think I've got to put the drone up. What do you reckon? You okay? You okay? Uh -uh. You gonna be sick? <laughs> Fuck. You'll be right. Oh, I feel so dizzy. You okay? Huh? This is why you need emergency water. Tell you what, you would not last long. 
you would not last long out here. Here you go. You seriously, seriously struggling? Uh -huh. It's the heat, yeah? I'm not kidding. Okay. Oh. This is not good. Okay. I can feel the heat stroke. It's all right. We'll be, we nearly got, got about 32 k's to go. Oh. You'll feel better having that water, yeah? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pull some. Lift up, move, move your head back. Let me pull some down your top on your chest. Uh, mm. Say there. How's that feel? Oh. It's just no escaping the sun. We've only driven 60 k's and we're both. Well, Veronica's about to pass out, so. And you got the heat from the motor. Tell you what, you need to, even driving from town to town, you've got to bring supplies, you've got to bring plenty of water. We've still got this left and another a litre and a half left of water. So we've got plenty of water. We've only got 30 odd k's to go, but so the stretch from um, Alice Springs to Tennant Creek is brutal. Gotta keep your brain cool, you know. You ready, Dal? You ready? Your hand? My head is exploding. Come on, we're nearly there, Dal. Let's get there, you can get in the pool. Just tap me if I need to pull over, okay? If you're getting dizzy spells, I'm gonna put here, I'm gonna put some water in your helmet. No, you need it on your brain. You need it on your brain. Just neck. leave, leave. You need, Dad, just a little bit in there. Heavy, Danny. It won't be too heavy. Here, go, go, put it on. Go. All right. Okay, let's go. We've got one and a half liters left. You're right, babe. You can do this. Hang on. I've got to get the bike up. I've got the camera. It's on. Can you help me push or not? Yeah. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Fucking you. Okay, this thing's so heavy. All right, jump on, Dale. We're nearly there. Thirty. Let's go. emergency water out. I'm going to pass out. Uh. Yeah, yeah. 
Give me five. Give me five. Just stay there, stay there, stay there. Move your glasses. Pour it on my head. Huh? Not drinkable, but drink it anyway. We've only got 13 k's to go. We're going to be fine. Hey, let's go. Hey, listen, important. When I give you the thumbs up, just give me the thumbs back up because I can't have you passing out on the back of the bike because you will die hitting the road, okay? Mm -hmm. Just give me the thumbs up, yeah? Let me know you're okay. Mm -hmm. We're nearly there. Heat stroke is um, deadly. deadly. You get a, starts with a headache, dizzy spells, and... Um, you start to hallucinate. Like I'm hallucinating that I'm, I've got a pixie riding with me like a fairy. Like I've got a fairy on the back of my motorbike. That's my hallucination. Okay, we're nine minutes away from the motel. Let's go V. We're just about there. Just on 3000 Ks we've done in four days. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh. We didn't come here to fuck spiders. Let's go. How much fun was that? That was hell. Huh? That was hell. Absolute hell. Living the dream. <laughs> Ronica. I Take hope this is the right hotel. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I didn't need to do that. I was just trying to get you. Close. What? Why would you do that? How are you? How are you? Exhausted. We've just um, come from Alice. Oh, that is me. Daniel Hayes, have you got the reservation? Okay, we're room 24. They have room service, they have food here. There's a restaurant. I've got you some water. Thank you. I'm gonna pour it on you, okay? Just gently, you ready? Is that, wake, is that waking you up? Oh, no, I'm just. How good's that, hey? Feeling better? There's a pool here. Swimming pool, let's get in that pool. Where's V? V just said she's never riding on a motorbike ever again. Problem with motorbike riding is it gets in your blood. And you have the pain, but now you're about to get the reward. How you going? 
You like the, do you like the swimming pool? Is it how you imagined? Yep. Is it really? Heaven. Hey? Heaven. Uh, look at this, we can park right out the front here. She said the aircon's broken. She better be fucking kidding me. Oh, how good's this? The aircon's not working. And it's open. On. Looks like something out of a horror movie. You might want to wear your thongs in that shower. It's not very clean. Go have a look at it. I did see it. Yeah, it's the station. Is that fucking aircon working? We're joking about the aircon, right? Better I'll tell you what, if the aircon doesn't work. Maybe the door needs to be shut for it to work. Okay, Veronica's struggling, so. Okay, you've just pulled into your hotel. You've just done 700 kilometers in 40 degree heat. You're exhausted, you've got to unpack. You've got to take your pack off. Ready? I'm going to do it alone because Veronica's nearly unconscious. But here we go, let's do it. Okay, I'm just gonna set the camera up. Go! One and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight, nine. Fifteen seconds. This is the shittest aircon in history. I'd rather have just a fan. Sweating bullets in this room. It's 10 hours of riding with sunscreen on. Sunscreen on the whole time. The brutal Australian outback. Veronica's having a good time. You having a good time, V? Who would choose to live here? Hey? Who would choose to live here like this? You having this? fun, though? Mm. You having fun? Let's go. Mm. Come on. Like we could take a moment to gather our thoughts. And pull, drink every, what, 30 minutes? 40 minutes? Fuck, they're on back to front. I've seen the pool. Yeah? Fuck. That was the pain. About to get the joy. Busy motel. fact is when long haul traveling you need to if I was traveling alone I would have been up at 5 a.m. this morning and I would have knocked off a lot of those K's before midday it is hottest I mean twice in a row now we've arrived into town the hottest part of the day between 3 and sort of 6 p.m. in Australia um, it's just ridiculously hot and that wind I mean what's your body temperature about 37 and a half and you're riding 39.40 there's only one thing that can happen and that is eventually you will go unconscious um, but we were hydrating quite a lot even though the water we were drinking was hot but you know that's just the way it is but Australia is vast and um, you have to be prepared we were prepared and we made it here okay um, Veronica's a little bit knocked around but hopefully she'll be in the pool shortly I'm glad I didn't crack my head on that wall. How are you feeling? Better? Shit, mate. My head is pounding. Okay, you'll be fine. Let's debrief. We're, um, we're absolutely cactus. I have to be honest. I'm finding this trip extremely tough. 
Um, I'm thinking that even get, getting to Emma Gorge or getting to the Gibb River is a near impossibility because of the heat. I feel that it's potentially extremely dangerous to go off track. How do you feel about that? What do you mean to go off track? Well, we need to take a track to go to the Gibb River. Well, I mean, it is dangerous because it's that time of the year. So, it's, of course, it's dangerous. Like, but it's not that it's dangerous. It's not that it's dangerous. I mean, I am the danger. Anyway, it's the end of day four. Tomorrow we've got 770 kilometres to get to Catherine. Fuck. So what's the lesson you've learnt, Veronica, today? What lesson? To, to, to leave earlier. To leave earlier, that's right. So I'm not picking on Veronica, but Veronica likes to get up later and get ready for that's two hours true. and have that's breakfast and have a latte and all of that. What no. <laughs> yeah, what are we doing? No, that's you. No, what are we doing tomorrow? No. No, 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 so tomorrow, no, no, what time? No. What time are we going to be on the road for? Hopefully, seven a.m. But Hopefully, don't talk no. shit to me about. Mate, mate, mate. There's no. No, listen. No if Danny hoping, actually there's said. There's no hoping. We can just be cruisy tomorrow. We don't have to leave early. We'll get up at like eight. We'll be on the road by about quarter to seven. So hopefully by by lunchtime we've knocked off five hundred k's. Yep. That would be nice. Um, setting the speed limit's one thirty. But, and Veronica nearly died today on the side of the road, didn't you? That's not true. Well, you were acting like you were, you were dying? I was definitely starting to feel some serious effects from the heat stroke. I wasn't dying. But how come you were lying on the ground like you were at the hotel, like you were unconscious? When? When you arrived at the hotel here. Yeah, all I did was lay down. Yeah, but everyone was looking at you. Who gives a shit? What do I care? You don't like it, don't look. Okay, it's the end of day four.